Hi students, I will try in this educational video to technologically introduce the principal rules that permit to size the tank's nozzles based on the French calculation code CODAP, of course as simply and as clearly as possible. Ok, let's go. Well, as you can see in this figure, the components in green are the nozzles and the component in purple is the manhole and the manhole is considered also as uh, a nozzle and uh, the nozzle can be simply seen as an opening this opening will be carried out on uh, the shell or on uh, the format head and uh, a nozzle neck and a flange and possibly a reinforcement plate for reasons of resistance. It's to note here that the nozzles can be applied uh, in the shell or on the shell, uh, as it is indicated in gray here in the left uh, picture, and they can be also applied on the formed head indicated in blue uh, on the left uh, picture. Here on the bottom left, the nozzle is uh, carried out on the shell and on the bottom right the nozzle uh, we have two nozzles in the picture carried out on the format head and you can uh, notice that we can uh, apply a simple uh, nozzle uh, neck or a nozzle neck with a reinforcement plate for reasons of resistance as i said uh, before and in the next video uh, we will uh, we will handle the sizing of this reinforcement plate now it's important to note that the th uh, that the stress is naturally uh, amplified uh, around an opening uh, when we have a stress sigma far away the opening on the shell tank for example or on the format head uh, this stress will be amplified to uh, three times sigma in the neighborhood of the opening. And uh, for that reason, uh, we should uh, carry out an amplification of the thickness around the opening. And this is carried out technologically using a reinforcement plate. And uh, as I said, I will talk about this in depth in the next video. In the next video I will talk about the sizing of the reinforcement plate around the opening. Now it's important to note that the diameter of the opening should not exceed a maximum value, a maximum diameter equal to 16 times uh, the square root of the mean diameter of the shell or of the format head on which the opening is carried out multiplied by the useful thickness of the considered shell or format head. Obviously, the mean diameter is the internal diameter plus the thickness or the external diameter minus the thickness. And for the location of the opening, some rules should be respected as it is depicted in the figure that you see in this slide. And you can notice on this figure that uh, a distance x, a minimum distance x, should uh, separate the nearest point of the opening to the tangent line between the shell and the formed head. This tangent line can be also a, a welding line between two portions of uh, shells. And you can uh, notice that when the nozzles are uh, carried out on the formed head, uh, the nozzle with its uh, possible reinforcement plate should be in the, within the radius of 0.4 multiplied by the external diameter uh, from the axis of the shell and the axis of the format head. Returning to the distance x separating the nearest point of the opening to the tangent line or the welding line, this distance x should be higher than a minimum distance obtained by the maximum between 0.2 square root 
the mean diameter uh, of uh, the shell multiplied by the useful thickness of the shell and three times the useful thickness of the shell. X0 here is in relation with the, the dimensions of the reinforcement plate that we will handle uh, in depth in the next videos and uh, here x uh, subscript 0 is, will, equ will be equal to 0 when we have not a reinforcement plate. Now it's to note that there are some rules uh, that should be applied on welded uh, nozzle necks. Uh, for example here when the nozzle neck is welded on a cylindrical shell, uh, the inclination of the nozzle neck should not exceed 45 uh, degree and uh, at the bottom uh, you can notice that when the nozzle neck is welted uh, in a manner that uh, the axis of the nozzle neck does not intersect the axis of the cylindrical shell a uh, maximum distance of uh, ri uh, which means the internal radius of the cylindrical shell this uh, maximum distance is uh, from uh, the axis of the cylindrical shell should be taken into consideration as it is depicted by the figure at the bottom. Another case when the nozzle neck is welded obliquely to a conical shell, a maximum inclination of 45 degrees and a distance equal to the internal radius of the shell should be respected as it is indicated in the figure or the picture in the middle. Also, another case when the nozzle neck is welded on a spherical shell. Yes, spherical shells are widely used uh, in uh, industrial applications. Or the nozzle neck uh, is welded on the formed head. Uh, the, the rule of the maximum inclination of 45 degrees and here a maximum uh, distance of uh, equal to the internal radius uh, should be respected as it is depicted by uh, the picture uh, at uh, the right. Now for the thickness of the nozzle neck, the formula that you see uh, is of course from Kodap and it indicates that uh, uh, the nozzle neck thickness uh, should not exceed the maximum value of uh, a certain factor Kt multiplied by the useful thickness uh, of the shell around the opening. The factor Kt can be obtained using this uh, chart and you can notice that when uh, the diameter of the opening small d divided by the mean diameter of the shell is lower than 0 0.2 uh, Kt is equal to uh, 2 and when uh, d by dm is higher than 0 0.6 the factor Kt is equal to 1 and from 0 0.2 to 0 0.6 uh, the factor kt is obtained using uh, the formula that uh, you see at the bottom now for the length of the nozzle uh, as you can see in this model we have a shell on which we carried out an opening and uh, on this opening uh, uh, a nozzle is uh, installed this nozzle uh, is constituted by uh, a neck and a flange. We have the total nozzle length or the total nozzle height. And we have the neck length or the neck height. And we have the flange height. So the neck length is, the, is obviously the total nozzle length minus the flange height. And this flange height is obtained uh, using uh, uh, standard uh, dimension of flanges. For example, here, uh, the European standard 1092-1 presents several types of flanges and we have the height for each type of flanges. For example, for the type uh, 04 in 34, in 34, we have H2 as flange height. For the type 01, we have C1 as flange height. And this table extracted from the European standard 1092-1 presents uh, an example of specific dimensions uh, for several types of flanges.
This uh, educational video takes end. Thank you for your attention and uh, if you have any remarks, don't uh, hesitate to mention it in the comment. Thank you very much.